Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at Twinmotion 2020.2 and what we're going to do today is actually see how the brand new phasing system works. How this works is very, very simple. So the very first thing which we're going to do, if you would like to start doing your phasing, is to go over to this section called statistics and you would see the brand new phasing system being replaced with a new name known as scene state. Now the scene state actually stores what and what you have in a particular scene while you're working. So if you click on this button right here, you'll notice we have a huge panel and there is nothing visible. So we're going to start off with a couple of things. So for the most part, I will just simply go through and close all of them. So let's go ahead and close all of these things. So let's close all these to the base and yes. Okay, so this is our first scene. So with this set to our first scene, what we would like to do is to save this scene state. And how we can save the scene state is very easy. So to do this, we just need to click on the plus symbol right here and we have that scene state saved. Now, if we want to bring back some other parts, and let's say we want to have another scene state, we can simply do that by going all the way. So instead of selecting the painted grass this time, I think I would start all the way from the beginning. Let's just make sure we have all these other ones turned on. So we're just going to do this for about three different scene states. So I think this is actually a huge step. So let's turn that off and save another scene state. So I'll go all the way up, click on the plus button, and now we have the second one. Now for the third one, we're just going to repeat the same process all the way to a point like this. So now I have this, I would simply go all the way up and save the third scene state. Now, once I'm done with that, if I would like to load that pick up here as an extra scene state alongside with a flat object, I would make sure I have that clicked. And also this is clicked so we can have, you know, the green and also the pickup truck right there. And I will scroll all the way up and click on the plus sign to add another scene state. So what happens is if I simply go back to the first one, this is what we have. And at this stage, you can load up anything you want. So let's say you want to put some construction stuff in there. So if we go over to the construction machines, we can definitely throw in a couple of them. So I can throw in one construction machine right there. And you know, we can throw in another construction machine somewhere around here. And let's rotate that just a little bit. And I think we can do some more. So let's see what else can we do. We can throw in another big construction machine right over there. Okay. So now that we have these construction machines here, within the first scene state, we can go ahead and refresh this. Now, once we refresh this, it has saved that within the state. So if we go over to the second scene state, you can notice that we have all of these things present. And at this point, we can take out one and then take out the other one. So let's take out this other one and we can save this. Now, if we go to the third scene state, in this case, we can actually take out one, two, and three and also refresh to update that. And for the last scene state, we can take out all of these ones and refresh to save it. So if we go back from one, you see what we have, two, three, and four. So we have all of this scene state saved. Now the question is how do you render this and also how do you play with it? Now, if you would like to have a timeline where you can play with this, you can go over to the section called phasing, go to the very first scene state which you want and click on the create phasing it's going to create the first phase which is going to be within the timeline and you can go to the end if this is what you want select the second scene state and click on the create phase and of course you can go to the end of this other one click on the scene state underscore two which is the cut state and the same thing can also happen right here so we can set this one here and click on that and once we toggle through do the whole playback we would have all of these things happening so this is very very nice and of course you would notice that once we're working with the scene state, we're only saving the state of our scene, but we are not saving the camera position, okay? So if you're willing to save camera position and you want to have a cool animation playback, what you need to do to get this one happening is to go over to media and go over to video. Let's say for our first scene state, we want to be, you know, want our camera to be at a position like this. So we're just going to click on create video and just make sure that you have that saved and of course we can click on the more button go over to the section called camera scene state and we want this to only be within the first scene state so once we select that you notice it saves it there we can come back to the section let's click right here click again to make the second one 
and within this section we can go over to camera scene state and then we can save up the next scene state and at this point we didn't move the camera so what we need to do is probably we can just move this camera about the point like that and hit the refresh button so once we do that and press the playback you would notice that once the camera is traveling through once it gets to the other part you know the camera updates and we get to see what the other state looks like so we're going to repeat this for the other states so once this is done you can go to the first frame press your playback and get your animation happening all the way to the end so this is for anyone who wants to create scene states and of course you can simply use this one to create some amazing stuff on the other hand if you're also thinking about playing with the time of day yes you can so how you can play with the time of day is you can choose to go over to the setting and set a complete time of day for the entire set or you can come right over here and click on more so for this example let's say we want to change the weather just a little bit about a point like that and we would also like to change the time of day so now it's 1108 we can simply bring this all the way down to maybe 13 jump back to what we have as video 2 let's update that and you can simply update these other ones to the end but i will just let this be the way it is go over to the end then maybe for this weather i would update this weather to a point like this and since i would like to also play with the time of day i would also bring this one a little bit down to a point like that so once i'm done with this jump all the way back and hit refresh of course you can choose to update one two three four depending on what you would like to get so let's go back to our first you know stuff and press the playback button to get things happening so you can literally see that animation playing all the way back from the beginning to the end so this is definitely about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to refer to twin motion 2019 or you know twinmotion 2020 and also see a couple of videos about twinmotion you can take a look at the links in the description and also check out the playlist on the other hand if you're also looking forward to work with twinmotion 2020 or 2020.2 you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can download twinmotion for free as far as you join the early beta that was sometime last year so take a look at the link in the description and of course you're going to find some exciting new cool stuff that you would definitely want to work with. So that's definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.